Hi, in this lesson we're going to look at an exam question on parametric equation. I'm going to show you step by step in, in how to work this out so you maximise your method marks. Uh, so stay tuned. Right, here's a question on parametric equation. Uh, it's from the PM2 exam paper in 2019. Um, so here we have two curves, C1 and C2. Uh, curve 1 has equation parametrically given and as x equals to 10 cos t and y is equal to 4 and root 2 sine t where t is between 0 and 2 pi that just means that we're going through t is running through the whole four quadrants and as, it, as t changes it changes the x and y values uh, which traces out basically the curve one here you see as an oval shape curve two has our typical equation of a circle x squared plus y squared equals 6 to 6 uh, that's the curve number two here. You can see it's a circle. All right, it, it shows that the four, uh, the two curves has four points in which they intersect. So it has four distinct points uh, shown in the, in the diagram where they intersect. We are asked to work out the coordinate of point S, uh, which is in the fourth quadrant. And if you look at these four coordinates, and uh, S in particular, you can see that the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative. This point will have the same y coordinate as point S, but the x coordinate will be a negative value. Here, x is negative, y is positive. Here, both x and y are positive. But we are only asked to work out, obviously, just one coordinate. Okay, so let's start working this out. So I'm just, just going to rewrite the information, but only select the information that we need. So, circle one, or sorry, curve one, has the equation parametric as given as x equals to 10 cos t and y is given as 4 root 2 sine t and curve 2 is given as x squared plus y squared equals to 66. Now whenever you work in that coordinate so where curves intersect you're looking at solving simultaneous equations. So whenever the curves intersect, they have the same x and y value at that point. So in order to solve this simultaneously, we need to um, combine the equations together. One possible way of combining them is to get them both into the same format of equation. So this is, in, this is a Cartesian equation, only involving x and y. This is a parametric equation. So my first step will be, obviously, I can start by uh, turn this into a Cartesian equation and to do that we need to use the identity cos squared plus sine squared t equals 1 and if we make cos this subject here so we have x over 10 equals to cos t so if we square this this becomes cos squared and here we have y over 4 root 2 equals to sine t so if we square this, we get our sine squared. And we know that cos squared plus sine squared equals 1. So if we put them into our identity here, we have x squared over 100 plus y squared over, so 4 squared is 16, root 2 squared is 2, 16 times 2 is 32, and that's equal to 1. So we have our Cartesian equation for curve 1, and we have a Cartesian equation for curve 2. All we have to do is now solve them simultaneously. Um, there's many approaches you can take. Um, we're going to make y squared the subject and then just substitute that into this equation and find x. So if we make y squared the subject, so we can have y squared over 32 equals to 1 minus x squared over 100 or y squared equals to 32 minus 32x squared over 100. You can simplify it, but I'm just going to keep it as it is. And then substitute this y squared into the equation for curve 2. We have x squared plus 32 minus 32x squared over 100 equals to 66. So that's x squared minus 32x squared over 100. I'm just subtracting off the 32 from that side which is equal to 34, uh, multiply everything by 100. Uh, so we have 100x squared minus 32x squared equals to 300, uh, 3,400. 
So you have 100 x squared minus 32, which is 768 x squared equals to 3400. So x squared, all right, so 3400 divided by 68 gives you 50. x is therefore plus or minus root 50, which is 5 root 2. Now, we have the possible values for x, and if you look at coordinate s, uh, our x coordinate has to be positive because it's only four quadrant, which means the x value you pick is the positive 5 root 2. To work out the y coordinate, we have two equations we can pick for, for the y. We can use this one where y squared is the subject, but I would prefer to use this one because y squared will simply be 66 minus x squared. And if you look here, x squared is equal to 50. So I just substitute that x squared in here. So y squared will be 66 minus 50, and that's 16, and the square root of 16 is plus or minus 4. But if you look at the s, s coordinate, the y value has to be less than 0, which is negative. So we take the negative solution for that, which is minus 4. Therefore, putting these together now, the coordinate of s, x coordinate is positive 5 root 2, and the y coordinate is minus 4, and we have the coordinate for s.